What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I've probably come in a little bit too soon for my recording software to pick up my voice, but we're back with some more Terraria. It's a Let's Play type dealio thing, do dad what's his face. My name is Cannon, or Cannon Fodder, or you know, however else you know me as. But we're doing a thing today. We've, we've done some stuff. We uh, streamed some of our Terraria series. Uh, and during our stream, we did a thing. I don't know if you can see part of that on there, as it slowly is revealed to us by our character. Because this guy has not been on in a, a fair while. But, uh, yes. Ah, see? We have a tree! And um, we'll go into... We'll go, we'll go into what happened for that tree in just a second. But, uh, first of all, we need to cover some things. We're going to cover what this what this lady does. Catherine! Hi, Catherine! You're a nurse! The nurse has two buttons. We can close it or heal it. Healing it, uh, if you come to her with full HP, then obviously she, uh... Quit wasting my time, she says. But, and this is probably going to end in tears. There we are. We can come to her! And she can heal us for, obviously, a certain price. Just wait for that. There we are. We've stopped burning ourselves to death. One silver. Ta-da! And she heals us to our maximum. Uh, yes, we've built, ourselves, built her a little house. We've sort of fixed that up a bit. It's now medically clean. Sort of, you know, white. Uh, we may actually end up removing the marble and replacing it with another white block. I haven't quite decided yet. Um... I'm actually going to put ourselves down a campfire over here because reasons. And I need to put another one over in our tree as well, just for some extra effective stuff. But yes, we built ourselves a tree, placed a whole bunch of stuff in it. Uh, we've got ourselves our heart lamp and our star in a bottle for our mana regen and our health regen. There we are. We've done a few other bits and pieces, but uh, I will now leave you to the clip of me building the tree.
fun. So yeah, we did that on stream. It's turned out better than I expected it would. Uh, yeah, so we've put ourselves a whole bunch of blocks strewn throughout it. Leaf blocks, wood blocks, all done with the help of some rather interesting tools. One thing is this one, the Living Loom. It's, it's a crafting bench. It's a special crafting bench that allows us to make these living wood items. Uh, so living leaf wall, living wood walls, these living living wood doors, which we've got here. Uh, we didn't make those, we actually looted those from a tree all the way on our map off to the very ends of our earth, which we haven't actually discovered with this guy yet. We'll have to get around to doing that at some stage. We crafted these lanterns, uh, candles, and a few other bits of music with, uh, and these two, the leaf wand and the living wood wand. The wood wand obviously places down all this wood, and the leaf wand, as you might have guessed it, places down all the, uh, the leaf blocks. Yes, so that was that was actually a lot of fun. We created ourselves a table and moved our dryad in, getting rid of that ugly wooden hut that she was putting in. All right, so the dryad now has three buttons and does a whole bunch of other stuff. She actually buffs us uh, to a certain degree as well. She puts out an effect which is like leaves spinning in a circle, which gives us up to eight extra damage. It actually damages any hostile mobs that are in it per second. Uh, which and does increase damage depending on how many bosses you've defeated as well as whether or not you are in expert mode gives off even more damage but it's good so the status button tells us the status of your world how much badness you have essentially in your world so we are crimson our world is three percent crimson she tells us we are so close to having purified the world completely gotta you know keep going uh, she also has a shop where we can buy a whole bundle of things, so pumpkin seeds, mushroom grass seeds. I've actually used her to help finish off our mushroom farm down there. Some planter boxes, which I'm actually going to take uh, about, mm, oh, 70 of. Yep, some walls, a dirt rod, which I'm actually going to take. More sunflowers, very, very handy. Grass seeds, obviously purification powder, which uh, if we go over with some of this, I'll show you what this does now i think yeah while it's night time because you know she's gonna pick up these guys as well hey you come back here thank you we'll run all the way over to the edge of our island as we we'll actually need to light up the rest of this uh can we yes we can we have a hook touch time as we run over here the show what the purification powder does Ta-da! Purification powder does this! Exactly what it says on the label, it purifies our world. Easy as. And we'll just let that grow back, because I actually I need that shade wood for uh, future building projects. But yeah, so that's what the dryad does for us. Sells us some purification powder, gives us some buffs. All in all, a generally a very good lady to have around. Uh, there was an event done... Oh, about a year ago, some tower defense game. They did a crossover event with Terraria, and so the Dryad nicked off with uh, Meow Meow to there. I wonder if she will give us... Come on, give us the effect, please. Please give us the effect. She's telling us that it's raining. She's not very happy about it. Actually going to sell... What do I want to sell? I don't really want to sell anything. No. But yes, this this took a whole lot of wood as well. We started off with um, <laughs> three, three and a half stacks of wood. Yeah, and managed to use up a majority of it. Used two, two stacks, two and a bit stacks of wood. So I actually made a ended up like maybe like four and a half stacks. Yeah. So that's, that's basically what we did on stream. I'm going to need to move this pit over to the other side of our... I think I might move it over here, over to our elevator, the other side of our elevator soon. And I'm going to uncover this and put ourselves a little fishing shack. Because we're going to go in, I think, yeah, in our next episode, we're going to go exploring. Actually, no, to spawn the fisherman, dude, I believe I need to, I need, I need to defeat a boss. So we need to do some more armor gathering and defeat ourselves a boss. Also on stream, we actually managed to do a little bit more work on our armor stand collection. We got ourselves some of the Eskimo armor. Uh, just just the, the 
shirt and the pants for now. Nothing, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Uh, yeah, so the hood is actually the rarest one. I, I know this because it's actually worth the most as well. <laughs> uh, we need two sets, obviously, because we need to get some pink dye and dye it pink. But yeah. But that, I believe, is all we've got time for today, ladies and gents. Uh, there'll obviously be a little bit more attached to this episode once i figured out the actual length of it, because... When in editing this or just in recording it, I've got no idea what the actual finished and edited time is for it. Uh, but I do my best to make sure that it is of an appropriate length. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in.